everyone, it's Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on today's video which will be the last one for our coding week. So we're going to look at the code to for this process button here but you'll notice we haven't done anything with these functions in here either so that's all going to be dependent on this, this process button. So I can right click on it and say view code. Uh, and then we have the the sub command for that command button to click. Uh, just for neatness, I'm going to put it uh, down the bottom here. So then, when as we scroll, we can sort of scroll through the whole command. So uh, we want to set up, uh, I guess, some some variables. So I've got a uh, f file path here and a file name file name as a string. So I'll just change that. That should be path and file name. Uh, and then what it's going to do is so there's a me, so which is the, the form. So you want to hide the form. Okay. Uh, so and also we have an error handler, which we're going to disable. So if you Google this, it'll give a good explanation on what that means as well. So the file path is C drive batching. So this is the directory that we're in now. Uh, and so the list box value. So this list box one value. So that's the directory that we're, we're scrolling through. Uh, and then we just need to close off um, the directory path there. So the when we when we go through it, the file path is C drive batching subdirectory and the, the trailing slash on that as well. So we've got the file name as well is the file path. Uh, where are we? And star dot dwg. You can also make this a DXF. Uh, filter if you want. I just need to put in quotes here. So let's grab the, the file path and star.dxf and vb normal. We're done and close that off. Yeah. And then we've got a loop here do until the file name equals nothing. So you're kind of just saying keep going through until there's there's no other files. So then we say if the file name is equal to nothing, then exit. So if it's nothing, then don't do anything, just exit. And then or else. Okay, scroll down a bit. And then we're going to set it, uh, some more variables here. So dim acad doc. I'll put some capitalization in here. As an AutoCAD dot AutoCAD document. So we're setting up this just as an AutoCAD file. And then we're setting the acad doc is this drawing. So this is why I like VBA as well. It calls up this drawing, whereas in um, when I did Visual Basic a while ago, this drawing wasn't set. So it's, it's for me, it's just a bit easier because you're saying on on this drawing, do something. So this drawing application documents. So we're opening a file. So it, it is going to be. Quotes C drive batching slash close and the list box one value, so the, the directory value, and close the trailing slash and the file name. Okay, so it's open the directory the subdirectory, the trailing slash, and the file name. 
Now this is where we have to set up for things like these buttons here. So the first one is if, and this is checkbox one. So you can say if checkbox one dot value equals true. So if it's tick, then this drawing dot purge all. Else and if. So saying if this is on, purge everything, then close it out. And then we do the same for checkbox two. So zoom to extents. So if checkbox two dot value equals true, then we can just type in zoom extents. So there's just a command in here else and if. So purging, zooming extents, and then detach xrefs, which is checkbox three. So if checkbox three dot value equals true, then, and I'll close it out, but in the command, what we're going to do is do a little bit more variables in here. So as a CAD block. And then for each command. Uh, yeah, for each a CAD block in this drawing dot blocks. If the block is oh, is xref, that block is an xref, and the count equals zero. So if it's an xref and there's none in there, then Detach it. And if next, just get rid of some of these carriage returns. So for every block that's an XREF and there's none in there, then detach them. Okay, so that's the three commands there. So the last one we want to do is the user script over here. So if this has been ticked on and we've selected it, then run the user script. So for that one, the checkbox four. So if checkbox four dot value equals true, then And I will also put an end if in here as well. Now we need to put up a script name as a string. And so what is the script name? So the script name is equal to, and you could probably shorten this as well. So we could probably use something maybe like the F path in here as well. Um, but what we're going to do is C drive batching close uh, close the trailing slash on there and it'll be list box two so the list box two dot value okay so it's just grabbing the file name value there and then what we're going to do is turn off so this drawing dot set variable of the file DIA is zero. So we, rather than letting AutoCAD use a file dialog box, we're saying turn that off and run everything through the command line. So then this drawing, so we're sending a command on the command line as a script. So it's this is just like if you're typing on the command line, so we're saying script 
and carriage return, so enter, and script's name, and carriage return. Close it out. So then this drawing dot set variable, file DIA, put it back on. Okay, else, and if. Okay, so actually that should be script name. There we go. Okay, so lastly, what we need to do is at the end, I want to save this every time. So acad doc dot close. So that means uh, it'll close it out, and just going to close out that string as well. Then we go loop. Okay, and then we, when we get to the end, we're unloading this form, this user form, and we're also just going to put up a message box saying drawings done. Okay. So hopefully that all makes sense if you've been able to follow it. Uh, good. Uh, if not, I will be posting this in the comments area, the original DVB file, so you can have a look at it and play with it yourself. Uh, if there are any issues, feel free to make comments, um, and then I'll try and get to them as soon as I can. So I'm just going to save this. And if I go back to AutoCAD, I'm going to show you that I've created four of my title blocks and you can see they're all zoomed in and zoomed out at various values okay so then just to test this and then underneath my batching folder I've got source drawings and I'll delete the backup files just so you can see so let's give this a run Type in VBA man, go to macros, load form, and go run. Then we have source drawings, zoom to extents, and go process. And the drawings are done. Now just to show that they have been done, I'll go back into my source drawings folder and click open on all of them, and you can see that they've been zoom to extents so there's nothing no errors on that um, and then you can try it for it yourself so hopefully it's been a good week of learning for you if there are any issues please don't hesitate to add it into the comments below um, i'm more than happy to chat on the comments if you need to you can find me on linkedin as well and i can go through the code with you but um, this is a good entry into learning VBA. I learnt it myself uh, just through trial and error, but once you get into the hang of it, you can start automating a lot of things uh, in VBA. So if you like the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Uh, feel free to, to subscribe and to click on the bell icon for daily notifications of all of my videos. So thanks for watching. Have a good weekend and I'll catch you on Monday with some new stuff with uh, AutoCAD or Autodesk, Navisworks, Advanced Steel. Uh, we might jump into our plant project uh, next week and continue on with that uh, and then we'll eventually end up in maybe some more Navisworks uh, during one week in particular. I'll go through Clash Detective, uh, Timeliner and Quantification with Navisworks as well. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.